With the Modern Warfare 2 grind well underway, you're probably jumping in, ranking up weapons, going for streaks, maybe that nuke or that MGB rather. But if you're like me, you're also probably going for gold camo and the rest of the camo challenges in the game. This year's system is a little different. So while this annual gold guide we do here on the channel may differ a little, I wanted to share with you guys some tips on how to best achieve weaponry gold in Modern Warfare 2 and how to make your experience a little easier in the process. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below. What's your thoughts on gold this year? Do you like the look of it? Are you liking the new camo system we have in place? Over the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're now pushing towards 600,000 subscribers, which is still insane to consider. Now imagine we hit that lofty goal of 600,000 subscribers by the time Warzone 2 launches. Just kidding. Unless, but in all seriousness, if you're new and you'd like to stay on top of everything Modern Warfare 2 related with guides, tips and tricks, updates and all, I'd love to have you in the community. Last few notes, we'll be live on Twitch just about all day and tonight. So if you guys would like to score some in-game items with Twitch drops, we'd love to have you out in the chat. And finally, this video is brought to you in part by my friends at Apex Gaming PCs, but more on them a little later. For now, let's take a look at gold camo and the easiest ways to approach it. So this year's camo grind is a little different. We don't have a ton of challenges per weapon. Instead, it's actually not a lot at all, making it relatively accessible even to the casual player who may not normally do any camo grinds. Weapons that have attachments, gunsmithable weapons as Infinity Ward calls them, will have four challenges per weapon, while weapons that do not, things like your launchers, will have weapon levels and one single challenge at the end of that that you have to complete. So the bulk of the gold grind this year, as it kind of was last year with Vanguard, but in a different capacity, is just seriously leveling your weapons. We put out a video earlier today about the best ways to rank up your weapons, and as the time of recording this, some of those methods could see you max out weapons in less than 60 minutes with double XP tokens. Now, will some of that stuff probably get patched i would guess so but seriously the bulk of the grind is basically just leveling up your weapons so as for how this system works though again those gunsmithable weapons with four challenges that's something you earn each of those as you progress through that weapon leveling a lot of the times you can actually do these challenges just as you go along so it's very possible that by the time you get to that max and final camo challenge that comes along with maxing out the weapon you can end up having three of those four challenges already done now Here's the thing, when you complete all four challenges, that doesn't give you gold immediately. That's when a gold challenge is unlocked. One of the big things that I was seeing in my streams the last two days was, hey, I finished my four challenges, why don't I have gold for this gun? When this time around, they kind of added a new step with this new system of completion. Unlike other years, we don't get gold immediately. Weapon challenges though vary for individual weapons, some really straightforward, others just like an LOL what? Like there's a sniper that requires hip fire kills, but overall it seems like the mastery challenges are roughly all the same preliminarily. Whether or not they get patched or we get different challenges later on down the line, if you were to take a look at the CDL playlist, you can actually see all the challenges for the camos as is, even if they are locked. But gold is simply three kills without dying 10 times. Pretty simple, right? So, I mean, there are a few things we can say here in regards to how to make that a little easier. Ground War is one that I honestly love. There's so much action and you can get behind enemies without them really noticing because they're probably focused on somebody else in their viewpoint. Traditional 6v6 is still a great way also, especially if you play in a party. Having that communication, you can hold down domination points, get a spawn trap going. You can play hard point, bait the hill, have players come in and just from the outskirts, shoot in and take them out. But all it is is three kills, 10 times. Now, there are a few things that you can definitely know that will help you out. Firstly, the streaks do stack. So if you get that three kill streak and you're doing well, you're feeling good about your shot, you don't have to jump off a building, blow yourself up or anything to start a new life to get another three kills. These stack. So if you go on a six kill streak, it counts as two three kill streaks and so on and so forth. The nine kill streak is three of those, 12 is four of those, and you see where I'm going with that. Now, another thing that is nice is that you can also back out of any game and your progress will be saved. This goes for every single camo challenge, not just complete completionist and mastery camos like gold, platinum, polyatomic, and Orion. Honestly, thankfully that's the case because right now we don't have any indicators in game to say, hey, you completed this challenge, you're good now. So you kind of just have to keep track and then kind of hope that you're right before backing out and checking but you have to back out of the game before you can check that kind of stuff. So you don't lose any progress if you decide to do that. But that's gold camo in a nutshell, pretty easy to end up doing. Again, 
the biggest part is just simply grinding out the weapon itself. So certainly an interesting twist on the system here with this, but to round out everything, I want to talk a little bit about the camo system overall. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know about my friends over at Apex Gaming PCs. Now, if you're interested in a new PC build, I'd recommend checking out my partners at Apex Gaming PCs, a performance-based company that can offer any number of pre-built systems or the ability to fully custom tailor your own. I just put in my order with them here for my new system, decided to lean into the AMD 7950X CPU for a little less power draw, while also a little more future proofing for things like DDR5 and some cooler CPU performance temps for tackling both my workflow as well as gaming flow since I do both on the same system. Editing and exporting videos as well as playing games. I know there's minimal difference between the debate of Intel versus AMD, especially this generation, but I feel like I can't really go wrong with either. Also, grabbed an ROG Strix 4090 to keep the 4K videos here on the channel at as best the quality as possible. So if you're interested in learning more, do me a favor and check the link below where you can find three custom tiers of PCs that they build out for the community here that you can also fully custom tailor for yourself if you'd like those of which should now be upgraded to include the ability to change to the 40 series gpus the new ryzen 7000 and intel 13th gen cpus as well in addition to that code espresso is boosted to i think 15 percent off still if you want to take advantage of some of the new inventories coming in and get yourself a new system or a handful of parts for your existing one so if you're interested check the link in the description below but thanks to apex gaming pcs for partnering with the channel and sponsoring this video now as for the overall thoughts here on the camo again gold this year seems pretty easy by comparison to others you only have four challenges to do. You only have one additional challenge to get gold. So you can knock it out pretty quick. Now, the nice part about this camo system, admittedly, I think, is that it's pretty accessible to everybody, as we mentioned. For the camo grinders out there, it's absolutely going to be a breeze. The way that I kind of likened it is that the duration of the grind itself is about the same as what we've seen in the past. Damascus, DM Ultra, Dark Aether, Atomic, probably about the same total amount of time needed to grind out all of this. But at the same time, if you're somebody that's a casual that doesn't really care too much about getting weapons gold or anything, it's way less of a barrier now that you have if you want to try and go for this kind of stuff. Again, only four challenges as opposed to in Modern Warfare 2019, 100 of specific challenges you had to do for every single weapon. So to me, I think it is nice that Infinity Ward made this way more accessible, that gold camo is something that is way more obtainable for a lot more players now this year. The mastery camos, of course, like your Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion, still absolutely going to be rare whenever we go throughout the year, simply because that does take the entire grind, plus additional challenges for each weapon. So if you're a grinder, you'll still have that grind-worthy stuff that is definitely rare and that can be the bad of honor for completing it but I do like what they did making this and also the fact that you can unlock one camo and use it on every single weapon that's really cool only thing that I don't quite like is the UI. I feel like we could have had this better subsectioned so that if you unlock a camo at the very end, you don't have to scroll for 10 seconds to end up finding that camo every single time. But anyways, that's where we're at here at this. Use those tips to get gold a little quicker. Pay attention to the specific weapon you are using. Recognize at the end of those four challenges you have, there is one additional for gold camo and to unlock it. And with that gold challenge, take your skills into ground war, into domination, hard point, bait those objectives, and you'll get this done with absolute ease. So that said, that's what we're going to call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. How many do you have? Do you like the new system in place here? Whatever the case, feel free to let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it out insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. We seriously have so much up on deck that you guys will not want to miss. So make sure you're here for all of it. For now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.